Hello everyone. First of all, thank you for uh, purchasing the Warp Core Dome System uh, with the Warp Core base plate and the Warp Core uh, PCB run. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoy the system as much as I do. Um, it certainly made things a lot easier for me, especially uh, designing and animating uh, the vertical travel animations in the droid. Uh, what I wanted to do is I've had a bunch of questions from builders, from builders on uh, how to uh, make this thing work and put it together. So I'm going to do a quick video here uh, to actually describe what's in the kit and how it works with the core and what the final product looks like. Um, what you're looking at is the PCB run that we just did. And uh, inside your kit are a bunch of PCBs and some things. So let's go through it. This is your warp core power cell PCB. It's actually going to go on the floor of the warp core, which I have a printed one here. This is the super signal PCB or the center signal PCB. I call it both actually. Um, and this is going to distribute the signal and power uh, to the animations in the center of your droid, uh, as well as uh, you're going to have power going to the outside of the dome too. Uh, then you also have five arc boards that actually mount to the outsides of the warp cells. So we're going to go over that too, because this is going to allow you to put uh, juice into all the cells without having to run wiring around your droid. Included in the kit are six JST connectors uh, and headers to go with them. Uh, these are also I2C connectors, for those of you who did not know. Uh, this is a capacitor that's going to go on that center board. It's going to level off the servo power because there's basically a servo bypass built into here for power. And then I uh, put two of these together. These are two by six uh, servo connectors. Uh, the reason why is because there's 24 servo inputs actually on this board. And these, you're going to put your signal wires from your servos into this. And then you're going to simply plug them in right there and right there as well. So when all this is together, you're going to have a microcontroller mounted inside the power cell. That's for the center animations. That microcontroller is then going to send signal into here, and this is going to power the servos. So that's how that's going to work. So how does that work? Well, your power core goes into the bottom of the power core and you will always fit it up against the center signal like this when you have it on the plate. So what's important about that is that they're going to pass information back and forth. So when you have your slip ring information, your power and your data coming up through here for the main droid dome, your power is going to come through here and it's going to get sent into this input point, which is 12 volts. That is then going to juice all these headers that are large with 12 volts and I have one labeled 12 volt regulator one, two, and three. Uh, in my case, I use two regulators, but there are three shelves here. So you can use three, but I just need two. Uh, regulator one is here, and that is actually for servo power. So when you have 12 volts coming through here, going through regulator one, you're gonna plug it into here, and that's gonna send servo power to this one and servo power to this one. This one is your auxiliary. So if you have our auxiliary regulator two, it's gonna come through and go into here. And then that one is going to light up these different auxiliary ones here, here, and here. So that's how you can distribute power. As far as signal goes, you're going to run the signal to the dome the way you always have, preferably using a mag tag because that is a very easy thing to work with. So your power is going to stay here, your signal is going to go through here and go out to the dome. When you start putting vertical animations in is when you're going to utilize this. So you won't use this except for when you have like a saber launcher you've done that I created, or you're using a lifter, or some of the other crazy stuff you're gonna see coming out. I just actually came out with a smoker cell. That will use this as well. So, now let's go to these. These go on other cells. So when you put them in, you'll screw them down. They use the magnetic mounts, and now you've got power that can go into every one of these cells. So what's nice about that is, for example, the smoker cell, uh, that one actually needs juice to run the vape pen inside. And I'm actually feeding it off of this, as well as the 12 volt relays that are going on for the flashing effect when we have the short circuit sequence. So that's the advantage of having these is they don't have to run wires all the way around to get to that particular cell. We just jump it. So that being said, this is what's inside the kit, and how it goes together. But let's look and see what it looks like when it's installed. So. Here we go. So, here's the Warport Dome system installed on the droid. 
Um, this is my original white prototype, which has now been a master. So all the purple ones you got are exactly what this white one is. Uh, so what you're looking at is how this is wired. So you can see where your uh, JST connectors go. You can see the one yellow UART there. I did use different colored uh, pins for the UARTs. And then that other one is a servo bank. Look into there. What you can see is there's my microcontroller right here. Uh, and that is sending signal down to bank one and bank two. And that's where you're going to use those connectors. And then that uh, screw terminal in the center is the servo power coming from the power cell. So once it's on there, uh, all my animations really just plug into these different servo ports. So your signal is coming from the two banks of signal wires, but the power is coming from the regulated power supply inside the cell. So that's how that works. Going to the outside, here are your ARC PCBs that are screwed into cells. Um, I'm basically jumping two voltages around the system. I'm jumping auxiliary voltage, which is green, and then 12 volts, which is white. Um, when you make your wires, make sure you differentiate so you know that like one particular color is a particular voltage, so you don't cross the voltages. Um, and uh, once that's in, that just shoots all the way around and then connects here on the actual power cell. So remember, I've got 12 volts coming in the left side. They're going up and over the shelves through those regulators, dropping down to 6.5 and, and 7.4 volts and dropping into the right side of that thing which is actually sending it to the different places. Now, if you've got a D-sub connector, you can use this because the D-sub will still work with this on your droid. I use a large mag tag because my entire droid is wireless, but if you're using a D-sub to get data out to your dome, this will also work. And these mag tags are for specifically for my periscope setup. Inside the cell, you can get a saber tooth in there. I got a 2X12 as well as my microcontroller on the back end. So that's how all this works. And I encourage you, if you have any questions, please let me know. Um, I got a little bit of a wiring mess in there because I'm doing some more beta testing on some other ideas. Um, but also, I'm gonna be having another part of this system that's gonna be for the dome coming out in the future. I'm gonna work on that over the winter. So everybody, thank you so much for supporting the runs that I do. I so enjoy watching these things get utilized in people's droids. Um, please put up some videos of the, some of the stuff you're doing and how it's working. And um, again, thank you all so much for supporting us. Um, really enjoy it. Happy to help the community. Message me if you have any questions. Look for some more cell designs. I mean, our smoker cell came out this week. Uh, we're going to be doing some other cells. And, you know, you can print all those for free. They're, all the STLs are on the club site for download. And I'm going to come out with a parts list and everything for the smoker cell. Thank you, everybody.